Today I want to talk with you about the promise of America. What is the promise of America? Imagine it's 1775 and you and I were sitting there in Richmond listening to Patrick Henry say, give me liberty or give me death. Imagine it's 1776 and we were watching the 54 signers of the Declaration of Independence stand together and pledge their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor to igniting the promise of America. Imagine it was 1777 and we were watching General Washington as he lost battle after battle after battle in the freezing cold as his soldiers with no shoes were dying fighting for freedom against the most powerful army in the world. Imagine it's 1933 and we were listening to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt tell America at a time of a gathering storm abroad that we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Imagine a little girl growing up in Wilmington, Delaware. It's during World War II, the daughter of Irish and Italian Catholic family, working class, and she became the first person in her family ever to go to college. Imagine a teenage boy growing up in Cuba. This boy at age 17 finds himself thrown in prison finds himself tortured, beaten, and then at age 18, he flees Cuba. He comes to America. Imagine another teenage boy being raised in Houston, hearing stories from his dad about prison and torture in Cuba, about how fragile liberty is, beginning to study the United States Constitution, Imagine it's 1979, and you and I were listening to Ronald Reagan, and he was telling us that we would cut the top marginal tax rate from 70% all the way down to 28%. That we would go from crushing stagnation to booming economic growth. Imagine within a decade, we would win the Cold War and tear the Berlin Wall to the ground. Today, millions of young people are scared, worried about the future, worried what the future will hold. Imagine young people coming out of school with four, five, six job offers. Imagine America finally becoming energy self-sufficient as millions and millions of high-paying jobs are created. Imagine healthcare reform that keeps government out of the way between you and your doctor and that makes health insurance personal and portable and affordable. Instead of a tax code that crushes innovation, imagine a simple flat tax that lets every American fill out his or her taxes on a postcard. Imagine abolishing the IRS. Instead of the lawlessness and the president's unconstitutional executive amnesty, imagine a president that finally, finally, finally secures the borders. Instead of a federal government that wages an assault on our religious liberty. Imagine a federal government that stands for the First Amendment rights of every American. Instead of a government that works to undermine our Second Amendment rights, imagine a federal government that protects the right to keep and bear arms of all law-abiding Americans. Instead of a president who boycotts Prime Minister Netanyahu, imagine a president who stands unapologetically with the nation of Israel. Instead of a president 
who seeks to go to the United Nations to end run Congress and the American people. Imagine a president who says, I will honor the Constitution, and under no circumstances will Iran be allowed to acquire a nuclear weapon. It is a time for truth. It is a time for liberty. It is a time to reclaim the Constitution of the United States. We will get back and restore that shining city on a hill that is the United States of America. Yeah.